Hi, I'm Mark Mancini with Vera Be Outstanding, coming to you with a Vera Be Outstanding Micro Tip of the Week. So in Florida and many other places, there are certain times of the year that seaweed is an issue. Now there are seaweed barriers you can get. It'll take 18 to 24 months to go through the government organizations to get a seaweed barrier. Still worth doing, but the seaweed barrier is not going to be 100%. It's still going to have some seaweed uh, come into shore. Um, here in the Keys in Florida, uh, it's usually summer months. It's around mid to late May through August, you know, end of July, beginning of August, and then it subsides. The great thing is springtime for our weddings that are here, uh, seaweed isn't an issue or it's so light where we can scoop it up in an hour or two, it's not a big deal. But right now it's the very end of May and we're gonna see some hardworking gentlemen taking care of a lot of seaweed. Now, with the seaweed you can do two things. You can either have them haul it off, which costs a fee, or reposition it on your property. And that's what we're having them do. We're having them put it uh, along the, um, the fence on the side of our property. Now they've made a very big dent in this. It's low tide right now. So it looks worse than it usually ever is. But you'll see it's about 20 foot of seaweed that I've watched up on the shore from where the water is up to about here, which is about high tide level. So from here to the water, it was a good several inches deep. <clears throat> As you can see, they're over halfway done and uh, they're, they're making very good progress, but it is a 90 degree day today and it's a lot of work. Now, normally other times of the year, I'll do this myself. I'll, spend, I'll come out here around 5.30 in the morning, spend about two hours, get my pitchfork and wheelbarrow and just haul it over to the side there. Um, Again, this is something where we'll do this once a week for the guests. Uh, I also wanna make sure you understand the importance of communication. So we've been here now for a month on and off uh, down here at the Oasis. Is yesterday I sent an email to all of my guests staying in June, July, and the first part of August. And I, and I told them, I need to set expectations. This is the Florida Keys, this is nature and there's gonna be seaweed. Now some weeks it may look like this, and some weeks it may look like there was never any seaweed that came out. There was a wedding here about 10 days ago. It was a very light seaweed I took care of. This was 10 days later, this is all that occurred. So once a week, you know, there are times in the summer where you can clean this up and then three o'clock comes and it looks like you never even cleaned it. But these are first world problems, right? They're still enjoying some beautiful blue water. They're jet skiing out there. They're going out to alligator reef flight on a boat. They're snorkeling out there. They're enjoying the pool. But again, the seaweed is something I let them know ahead of time to make sure that they don't call me up or email me. Look at this place. It's nothing like the pictures. You know, the pictures are taken at the best time ever. You know, they're taken in the early spring. And uh, this is something that is going to happen for three months out of the year. So we just let them know and they don't complain. Some people may, but we explain to them we're doing the best we can. We've applied for a seaweed barrier. It won't do everything, but it'll help. But we still clean it once a week. We just can't send guys here every day to do this. But this is 10 days of accumulation and an early part of the season where um, it's not normally this bad, but it can get like this after a week or so. So always make sure you over communicate to your guests and you set those expectations. That's what makes you viewer be outstanding.